Hello, hello. Welcome back to Rising World. I did manage to get the fence finished. I added, just made the beams larger on the sides and put two across the top. So yeah, I don't think it looks that bad. I, I'm happy with it. Uh, today, I think I want to build a shelf. Uh, I should have some beams and some planks left over from... Uh, I did get these rearranged. So now I can find things. Uh, I think it's in this one. Yeah. So let's grab the planks and the beams. Okay, I yeah I did get those re did get my storages rearranged so that makes a big difference. All right, uh, what well, first thing I want to do is want to lower that. So so shift down arrow. I want to bring it just maybe that much against the boxes and I want to make it I think a little bit thinner thinner than that. Yeah, about like that I think. I want to put it probably about right there and one on this side and I think that's about right and then I want to put one maybe about right here See if I can get that lined up pretty good. Right there. And this one. About right there, I think take a look at it. Uh, looks about right. No, I don't think it is either. Mm. It doesn't look like it's quite lined up, so let's redo this one. No, right click Betty. All right. Back to one. And about right there. Go about right there. All right. Now, uh, with two, let's lay that down. Let's make it wide. Shift. Make it longer. And let's make it wider. Okay. And let's turn. 
turn it. See if we can make it any longer. Now that's as long as it's going to go. So let's put it on a grid. G for the grid. I guess I'm going to have to do it differently than I thought. Can I put it up? Okay, I'm going to hit enter to lock it. No, I guess it's not enter. I never can remember. Uh, I need to write that down. Uh, I never can remember what I do to lock that. Uh, Left control. Okay, left control locks it. So let's. I mean, it's it's locked in place, isn't it? Okay. So let's take off that. Let's see if we can make our grid a little bit, maybe smaller. See if that helps. That's better, I think. Okay, enter puts it in snapping, where it'll snap into place. Uh, That locks it into place, but it, I mean, it just, it just flat locks it into place. Uh, let's look at the help menu. You can hit F1 to help. Okay, page rotates. Uh, different directions. Mouse left holds to place the multiple ele elements in a row at once. Mouse right press to place the element at the current position. Backspace uh, resets. Shift up right right shift you can hold it to resize it control r toggles the manual uh, positioning uh, return toggles modular snapping plus and minus changes the gap size on the grid itself uh, and g is grid Hmm. Okay. That wasn't what I wanted to know. Control R. 
No. Control right. No. Just turn the snapping off. The manual positioning is not working for some reason. It just, it puts it there, but it doesn't move it. Uh, let's turn the grid off. Try that one more time. Right control. And then you want page up. There we go. You have to have the grid off. But you use your right control button. And then you use your arrow keys, your page up, page down, all that to move it. Okay. Let's take a look at it from this way. Not bad, but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to move it, yeah, and add the little bit over on that side. So let's move it over. All I'm doing is holding down my right arrow key. Okay. Good. Now let's snap that in place, leaving it uh, still held. Then I can use my left arrow key. To get it on there. And now I am going to use my shift key to make it smaller, shrink it down, okay, then I'm using just my left arrow key to move it again, And of course, I used the wrong one. Okay. Okay. It's, it's the the down button. I don't know why I always get those mixed up, but I do. But you can still see on the top. I can bring it a lot smaller. So let's bring it down some. Move it over. And a little bit more, so I'm holding down shift and my down arrow key. And then I'm releasing that and using my left arrow key. To bring it over now. Looks like. I need to uh, widen it just a hair. So we'll use the shift up arrow key. There we go. And let's snap it into the place. Hit your right control button to take it out. And there we've got a shelf. Now, what do I need to make some more of those crates? Mm, chests. 
uh, da, 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 wood crate large. I need 64 lumber. Let's go see if I have enough lumber. We'll make a crate and put it on top of it. I could have brought this down a little bit further. But eh. It works. So I've got 24, 10, 32, 34, so I need about 30 more. See if I can get 30 lumber out of this. So we go back to resources, lumber, and see if I can do 30. Let's do 32. Now, resources, back to chess, wooden crate large. Okay. And I can do a double stack. It's that simple. Well, not really simple. <laughs> Whenever you get into the advanced crafting, it just it uh, takes some figuring, and my brain isn't very swift. But we did figure it out eventually. <laughs> but yeah, I like that. It's just a basic. You can make them fancier any way you want to, but that works for me. That way I can stack some crates there. I can put some more over there, more here. We can have this place full of crates, full of things. And I do like that. Now we need to figure out exactly where I'm going to build a house. That is one thing I'm dreading. I am really dreading this. I'm thinking back here. Maybe back in here. And that way I, I can do a path down this way to the house so I can put it over there or I can build it out that way which really wouldn't give me a whole bunch of room but it's feasible I can go back here which I've really been thinking about and I know I need to eat. Maybe back in here. You know, build a house back in here. Maybe back in here. You know, there's there's a lot of places I could build. I don't really want to build over here because that's where I have the tree farm. Of course, I can always move the tree farm. And I can always move my orchard. I mean, this looks like it's a little bit more level. It might be easier to build it back here. That way I have my shop. I've got my little... Uh, I want to do something with this area over here. Eventually. But I would kind of like to get started on the house. So I, you know, right through here might be good. But I'll have to make up my mind. If I build back here, I will have to, uh, 
like I said, move my orchard, move my tree farm, but that's no problem. I can move them back behind there or even over there. That doesn't really matter where you put those. Tree farm will eventually be very large and hopefully the orchard will be large too and better laid out. But yeah, I I think we're doing okay. I really do. I, I think we're looking good. I need something to eat and I need something to drink. I need to figure out a water skin. Uh, I don't know if I make it here. Something to hold water. Now that's just resources. don't think yeah that's just clothes camping you can make tents uh, clothes you know stuff for your horses so let's go over here and look at this one canteen or or something uh, miscellaneous maybe no, it's not miscellaneous. Utilities, water skin, uh -huh. water skin canteen. What do you need for the wet canteen? Two iron plates. Hmm. You know, I may possibly have two iron plates. Let's go over here and look. F. I do. I've got some iron plates. Uh, let's go ahead and put these beams and planks up while we're here. Get up there. Get our beams, our planks. Save a little bit of room on my inventory. I need to cut some more wood. I'm getting really low. Okay, let's go over here and make the canteen. Okay, craft item. Okay, let's run back up here, put my plates back up. I did a good job. I've got my oars across here, got my coal over here. This is iron, the iron ingots, my plates. I can put my rods down here. I'm, that way I can put them in rows. And I've got my rock, dirt, sand. Over here, I've got my seeds and stuff like that. I've got my vegetables, so whenever I take them out of the garden, I can put them in here. Uh, over here, I've got my food. I'm going to have to do some more cooking. I'm just about out of food here. Let's uh, go to inventory, and why didn't I take it? F. Get it in there. There we go. Let's go to five. Right click and eat that. Let's run over here, fill up our canteen. Seems like when I'm in the middle of something, I uh, need something to drink. Let's put that on four. Okay. Okay. Right click to fill up your canteen. I just got a drink of water because I was so thirsty. Now all I have to do is right click or go to Go to the slot I have it in. Hold down my right mouse button and I can drink some water. That helps. That should have been done a long time ago. <laughs> but anyway, I guess that's going to do it for today. I do like the way that shelf turned out. It 
turned out okay. If you have any questions, please ask me down in the comments. I'll be glad to answer any questions I can. Like I say, it's been a long time since I've played this, and some things just don't stick, or I don't remember, or it, it takes a while to come back to me. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. You know, hit that like button. Just don't hit it hard enough to hurt your finger. We don't want any injuries. Oh, look at that sky. Isn't that beautiful? If you want to know, uh, want to see more, you can always subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. I am doing Rising World, which is this game, The Infected, uh, Eco, uh, what else am I doing? Planet, the Planet Crafter, yes, very fun game, uh, Worm Unlimited, love that game, been playing it for years, that was the first game I bought on Steam, and I've also started Trader Life Simulator, which is a lot of fun different types of games, most of them building, crafting type games, but ones I enjoy playing. I do not play any games that I do not enjoy. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that. But anyway, I want everyone to have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.